Hey, it's Tuesday Talks with your boy, Pastor Q. And as usual, I want to come and just encourage you on making some faith moves. That's all I want to talk about today is just making faith moves. I, almost 11 years ago, I preached my very first sermon at Great Ephesus Missionary Baptist Church under the leadership of my pastor, Pastor Reverend Dr. M. Davis. I was able to preach and um, you know, I felt the spirit of the Lord. It was my very first sermon. I was, I was just nervous. I was, you name it. But God got me through it. But you know, I, I came to discover throughout these 11 years almost, there were people that didn't believe in me. There were people that wanted to see me fail. There was people that did see some of my failures. There was people that talked about me. There was people that said all kinds of things about me. But guess what? I made it my business to make faith moves. I, I didn't allow that, watch this, I allow all of that noise to actually be fueled to my faith. That's right. I let all that outside noise fuel my faith. I let all that talk fuel my action. I mean, you know, you got to learn how to take that negative and put it in your tank and let it fuel you. Don't let it frustrate you, but let it fuel you. I've been making faith actions for a long time. I've been making all these faith moves because I believe, simply because somebody thinks you're not qualified, you're not capable, it's almost 11 years later and God is still allowing me to preach his word. Now I'm saying that from a place of humility because I'm grateful. God graced me for the journey. Pastor Spence O'Neill, God bless Pastor. I, I remember me and him talking and he said, son, he said, I don't want anything that God has not graced me for. And I thank God because God has grace me for this journey. You need God's grace because people will talk about you. People will try to treat you bad. They will put your name in the mud. They will step on you. But guess what? They did it to Jesus. And so I'm grateful. I just want to encourage you, make some faith moves. Take that noise and use it as fuel. Make some faith moves because, hey man, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And I believe that the only way I can please God is to continue to make faith moves. Come here, Peter. I hear Peter talking. Peter said, Pastor, I made a faith move. When a brother sat in the boat, I got out the boat. Can I talk to just about five of y'all? Get out the boat, man. It's time for you to make some faith moves. Leave your friends in the boat. Leave your girlfriends in the boat. Leave your family members in the boat. You've got to make some faith moves because what God has for you, it ain't in the boat. It's out there in the water. Can I get some people to type down in the comment field, I'm ready to walk out in water because walking out in water was significant of the fact who can do that? Who can walk on top of water? But I want you to say I'm making faith moves. Faith moves for my business. Faith moves for my family. Faith moves for everything that my that I touch. I'm going to put my faith to it. Oh boy, I almost started preaching to y'all on this too. But this is Pastor Q. I'm getting up out of here. But can you just shout back with me? I'm making faith moves. If I would have had a mic, I would have dropped it. I'm gone.